Begin by sitting on your bottom cross-legged. You can use a pillow or a bolster, something to elevate the hips a little bit to make it a bit more comfortable. And just begin by focusing on your breath, closing down the eyes if that's comfortable for you. Maybe taking a big inhale, drawing those shoulders up to the ears. And exhale, releasing them down, keeping them away from the ears, down your back. <sighs> Tuning into your breath your body. And just remembering that with pregnancy, things might feel a little bit different. Just, just respecting that you want to push yourself, but not into any discomfort or pain. Just nice challenges that are comfortable. So we're going to begin by rolling the back and the hips a little bit, the belly's in the way, just do as much as you can. Just nice gentle circles to loosen the hips and the spine. Good, make sure you go the other way as well. Just paying attention to how that feels. And then change legs, so the other ankle in front of the other. And then do circles again. Making sure you go the other direction as well. So we're gonna sit nice and tall. Inhale, your arms up. And then keep the shoulders away from your ears. So if you really feel like you're squeezing, just sort of sink them down away from your ears, but try to extend through the elbow and the fingers. And then exhale, the arms are gonna come forward. Inhale, circle the arms. Exhale, come forward. With each time you circle, think of your spine growing taller. So really reaching from tailbone to the crown of your head. Nice long length there as you work the shoulder muscles. And we're gonna reverse this. So inhale, arms up, exhale, circle the other way. Inhale, just really feeling the two shoulder blades moving, muscles around it, stabilizing. And exhale, look, arms lower, good. Round up the spine, inhale up. Exhale, round up the spine, inhale up. Exhale, round up the spine, and inhale up. Good. One leg, and then the next leg, nice and long. If it's really tight behind the knees, you can have a mini bend of the knees. Or if it's okay, just really press down. So legs are about mat distance apart if you're on your mat this way. We're gonna open the arms nice and long. Inhale, and then exhale, turn to look towards your right side, just twisting as far as your body will let you go. Again, if the belly is getting bigger and bigger, you might not twist as far, that's okay. Don't force it. Inhale back to center, exhale. Twist the other direction. Inhale, lift the heart forward. Exhale, grow taller as you turn to try to look over that right shoulder. Inhale and exhale, turning over to look behind the left shoulder. Inhale, last time each side. Good. And the left one, stay tall. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, float the arms down, squeeze those legs together. Good, carefully come off your bolster or your pillow. And then you're gonna gently come down. So use your core and your arms to help you come down to your side. And then contract that inner core and then slowly roll onto your back to come into our rolling bridge. So you wanna make sure your hips your feet are hip distance apart. Make sure the big toe joint stays on the mat. Hands are by your side. <clears throat> Support. Take breath in. Exhale all your air out. As you inhale next time, you're gonna think of rolling your tailbone up first, then your low back, then your mid back, then your upper back. Really pushing those hips high. And then as you exhale, you're gonna lower yourself top to bottom, so this time tailbone is last to find the mat. Good, with an inhale, we're gonna roll back up. If this bothers the SI joints, so those 
joints behind your low back at the at the base of your spine where the tailbone meets the hips <clears throat> you can hold it at the top instead of rolling up and down so really trying to strengthen the glutes strengthen the hamstrings and the back but if it feels okay you can roll up and down in and out of it that just helps to engage each segment of muscle and also work all the joints in your back, really trying to separate out. So when you roll up, you want to come up with an inhale, trying to get each vertebra to come up on its own. And then as you exhale, each vertebra to touch the mat on its own. So we're trying to work each joint. Good. <sighs> Release. Low back should lift off the mat now in the release. We're back to neutral spine. And you're just gonna pull your right knee in. If the belly is really big now, you can tuck the knee on the outside of the belly. And same thing on the left. And just sort of squeeze and roll side to side if that feels okay. Kind of give yourself a massage in the low back. Then settling at center. And then you can gently start to close the knees up, roll onto one side, and contract your inner core. Use your top hand to push yourself back to a comfortable seated position. <sighs> and breathe. Then we'll roll onto all fours for a little bit of bird dog or a dancing cat, balancing cat. So first we'll take a breath in. And exhale, make sure your shoulders are over wrists, knees under the hips. Starting to engage that core when you feel like it's nice and <clears throat> stable. You're gonna lift one limb at a time, just challenging your back, your core. Move with control. Really making sure you move slowly so that you don't tweak anything. Good, and one more round each limb one more time. Really trying to keep that back in nice table shape as you lift the limb. So nothing should be moving except the limb that's going. So we really want to avoid shifting the hips. That's really difficult, especially when the belly is big. Just, just try. So once you feel good there, you can continue the way we just did, or if you want a bit more of a challenge, you can take a breath and really engage that core and then you want to make sure your hands are nice and wide for a good base of support. Push into the fingertips as much as the wrist and then try opposite limbs. So this is a bit more uh, pressure so you really want to make sure your wrists are okay. And really try not to shift. So there's a tendency to shift towards the, the hip that the knee is stabilizing on, but try not to. So try to keep that tall, straight spine right in the middle. And then when you can't hold it anymore, you want to exhale lower with control. And same thing on the other side, really trying to avoid shifting, shoulder away from the ear, pressing back to that back heel. Good. Really engaging the entire body for this posture. And then exhale, coming back. We'll do each side one more time. Take a breath to prepare. And then exhale. So holding, challenging the spine to stay straight, using those core muscles. Return the limbs. One more time, other side. Good, release. Take a breath. Exhale your air out, tailbone down, head down. Inhale, look up, chest up, relax, lower jaw. Exhale, curl the mid back up, tailbone down, head down. Inhale, reach. Good, exhale, full movement breath. Not only going so far as it's comfortable for your body. Good, feet together, knees apart. And just slowly sink back into the heels for a modified child pose. If your belly is getting really, really big, you can really open up those knees and sink down. See if you can find your forehead onto the mat. It doesn't quite reach. You can stack your hands or stack your fists and just rest. Try to release into the hips, into the low back. 